Hello everyone! Today we are proud to present to you our new product, the CSS Hero Animator. Animator will help you create amazing animations for your site in an easy and fun way. First of all, CSS Hero Animator is a WordPress plugin, and it is compatible with any kind of theme, page builder, or plugin. Okay, let's see how it works. Once you've installed and activated the license, you'll find at the WordPress admin bar, the animator logo. Now let's click on it to launch the animator. Moving the mouse, we are able to see similar triggering and CSS recognition systems as CSS Hero. Okay, let's select an element on the page and see what happens. All the animations that we're going to build will be applied to the following element. On the left side of the screen, we have a ruler, which indicates the position of this CSS element on the screen. That's very useful if we need to apply on-scroll animations. Okay, in the panel below, we have a timeline. Depending on how the animations are set, this timeline will change with different unit measures. The timeline changes when you select either the scrolled pixel animation or the time animation. Let's quickly introduce the difference between the three animations. The viewport height will take as reference the position of the CSS element in the viewport. In other words, it will always depend on the position of the element on the screen. The second animation is the scrolled pixel. After a certain number of pixels scrolled in our page, it applies a transformation to the element with an absolute measure, the number of scrolled pixel. A typical and very useful example is when we want to change the background color of a sticky header after a certain number of scrolled pixels. Okay, now see the last animation style, the timed animation. In this animation, time will be used as a reference. Our timeline measures in seconds once we've selected it. It is possible, for example, to create a background that changes color or a repetitive motion. Moreover, we can select the duration, the delay, and if the animation should loop indefinitely, if we choose that option. Okay, let's focus on a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create this cool motion effect. This animation will include a rotation and a perspective interaction with the viewport. Let's click on the Add Animation button. As you can see, the animator offers an awesome library with ready-made animations. Let's try this one that applies a rotation on the x-axis. OK. As you can see, the timeline shows three keyframes. The first keyframe is located at the bottom of the viewport at 120% below the viewport. The second one is placed on the half of the page at the 50% of the viewport. And the last one is placed over the top of the viewport with the value of 20% above the viewport. In other words, the viewport represents 100% of the page from the top to the bottom and the keyframe values will be relative to it. Okay, if we scroll down the page, we'll see that there's magic happening. Like Adobe After Effects or any other motion graphics software, the CSS Hero Animator will automatically interpolate the values of these keyframes from the first to the last one. Let's click on the first keyframe. As you can see, you can redefine the values and the viewport position. Using this tool, you can add or remove keyframes from the timeline. Let's apply to the first keyframe the value of 40 degrees. And I'll apply to the other two keyframes the zero value. So the element won't be changed after the middle of the viewport. Okay, to complete our motion effect, I will apply another viewport animation, the perspective animation. The perspective CSS function defines a transformation that sets the distance between the user and the z-plane. The perspective property defines how far the object is away from a user. So if a lower value will result in a more intensive 3D effect than a higher value. In this next step, we'll tune the value of the perspective animation so it will rotate perfectly giving a 3D effect to the element. We will set all keyframes at 1000 pixels. Now let's switch to the full screen view to see how it looks. Awesome! As you can see, the element rotates with a cool 3D perspective depending on the viewport scroll position. 
Okay, now let's take a look at the animator interface. Using this ruler, you will be able to measure the real size of an element on a viewport and understand which position value should be set into the timeline. The blue colored part shows the vertical footprint of the element in the viewport. Okay, let's now see the interface below. If I click on this icon, I can redefine the CSS element. As an example, let's look at this. To apply the same blur animation to these three squares with the same class, the drone, the smartphone and the gamepad, I have to redefine and rewrite the selector as follows. Dot box. Okay, now the animator checks and returns how many elements of the same class are on the page. Let's click the Update button and apply the Blur animation. As you can see, the Blur effect has been successfully applied to the three boxes. Let's turn back to the element list and look at the blue dots. The blue dots indicate whether there is animation on the elements, which is useful to understand which element has been modified. This tab section allows us to move through the different types of animations, the viewport, the scrolled pixel, and the timed animation. When we want to undo our last changes, we can use these little icons. By clicking on this icon, we can switch from dark to light theme schemes. Okay, we can use this tool to see what happens in the mobile view, specifically from the tablet breakpoint. Animator lets you decide whether your application should be applied on small devices. Click on this icon to enable or disable the animation on small devices. Please note that this checkbox refers to the animation viewport. Navigate to each section and use the checkbox to disable or enable the scrolled or timed animations. The purpose of this toggle grid is to get the vertical footprint of each element on the screen. This toggle grid will draw for each element its footprint on screen. It's quite useful when dealing with parallax and scroll animations. The inspector is an advanced tool to understand the HTML structure of our page. Thus, we will be able to identify which custom CSS selector should be assigned and redefined to ensure that animations are applied to the right element. This icon will open a debug tool, useful for checking the code. Finally, we have the option of viewing our edits in a full screen mode, hiding all the animator interface. We can easily revert the view again by clicking this button. Okay, now let's check the options in the bullet menu. The first one allows you to reset all animations that have been applied. If you use this action, all animations on the entire site will be erased, so be careful. Do you want to reset just one CSS element? By clicking this button, you will be able to remove all viewport animations related to this element. Finally, the Export Data tool will allow you to export your animations. You can either back up or import them to another site. Obviously replacing the CSS selector names with the new ones. The last two options allow you to open the current page in a new tab or exit the animator. Make sure you save your work first. Now let's look at the smooth scroll feature. This feature allows you to apply a scroll smoothly on your site. Okay, now we're going to learn how to use the LERP effect. LERP is the acronym for linear interpolation between two points. If you're moving an object from point A to point B in a parallax animation, this simple effect can be used to smoothen and make element scroll behavior more organic and realistic. Okay, let's see a quick example. I select this element on the page and apply an horizontal scrolling animation. Okay, now to activate the effect, just click on the LERP menu and choose a value. In this example, I choose a medium value. Okay, now let's scroll the page to see the effect. We can set up the LERP effect up to five values, from shortest value to the longest.
Okay guys, to learn more about the CSS Hero Animator, check the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.